we're moving indoors now to set the bar at a new level with one of pole vaulting's greatest teachers. Damian Innocencio built his coaching reputation in his native France, where he guided world record holder Renaud Lavillenie to the Olympic gold medal in 2012. Having been involved in the sport since he was nine, he now coaches the Chinese national team and understands that no two pole vaulters can be coached in the same way. On pole vault, when they arrive, we are all different. There is people who have this feeling, you give them the pole and they understand. Like people, someone, you give one pen, he can paint something beautiful. And other, he can work all his life, he can do something good, but never beautiful. There is people who have this art. You always have to work with the feeling of the athlete. There is some athletes who need to uh, stiffer training. There is some uh, athletes who are faster, and all the athletes have a different way to feel the pole. The pole vault is unique among the four major jumping events in its use of and reliance on specialized equipment. The pole, it's fiberglass or carbon. And on the pole, you can see how long is the pole? This number is the weight we need to put on the pole to bend it. And this is a flex number. They put the pole on the machine and they put 10 kilo. They look how much centimeter it goes down. Smaller is the number, stiffer is the pole. Often overlooked in the pole vault is the importance of speed during the approach to the jump. The run up, it's around 20 steps. The first step is just to build the speed. And after you have to continue to accelerate because it's a moment, it's like, you have to think um, a plane accelerate to take off. The last part of the, uh, the run-up, it's how to put some frequency, some rhythm to be able to change the energy, horizontal energy, to start to do a takeoff. When we take a pole on the middle, it's very light. It's not full, the pole. But when you have five meter pole and it's go down, it's very, very heavy. And there is all a technique to manage this, to put the pole up the head without losing speed. And when you want to put the energy up, you need to put your hips, the center of energy up your shoulder to be able to go up. It's why we rock back. We do, there is all technique to continue to give energy to the pole. It's why we, in the, with this technique, we can jump one meter 20 higher than the pole. What happened at the last part of the jump, it's the consequence of what you have done before. You don't have to do anything. The pole have pushed you and you just have to fly and enjoy. Given its importance, Innocencio often uses the opto jump measurement and analysis system in training sessions to fine tune its athletes' vaults, ensuring that they are hitting peak velocity at the apex of the running phase. This system measures with an accuracy of one centimeter. That's because we got uh, 100 LED lights on the left side and 100 LED lights on the right side. And each LED light is connected to the other one on the other side. And that makes it uh, really good at seeing where the step is and where the next step is. The trainer, the coach, asked me for a couple of things. He wanted to know the velocity of the last couple of steps. He wanted to see the step length and most importantly, the takeoff position. For today, the session was uh, how to manage the speed, how to um, make the athlete run faster, but we've not destroyed the run up and the takeoff point. It's why I need, I need some camera and I need one scientist who can explain the athletes, see the jump, have the feeling, can compare with what they see on the camera and can compare with what the numbers say. And like that, we can manage the athletes, understand and change. This is good because you always accelerate. But I want same acceleration, same things, but you need to be 10 centimeters back. What we saw, we could really help one of the athletes today uh, because he was a little bit too far and he was struggling with his last steps. He made the steps too long. We could see that from the optogym day that he could make them st steps a little bit shorter and that way we could help him and make him his last couple of jumps even better. Nobody does the same jump. We built one jump for one guy. It's always look like forward, but there is some little different points who make it very, very good or normal one. When I, I, I start to train, you have this desire to explain, to, to teach and to improve and to give people the chance to become someone. Someone better, someone on what they love. It's why it's, uh, it's, it's my motivation. <laughs>